Hello and welcome to the video. This is just a quick one to talk about the Mobula 7. Now I reviewed this uh, a little while ago, a week or two ago, I don't know. And at the time one of the things I mentioned was that flying 2S indoors was pretty difficult. So what I actually ended up doing is coming up with a little way of making it 1S just by using a small jumper to uh, put in one of the battery connectors which would basically complete the series circuit and so you could use a 1S battery. Now this was uh, something that worked quite well for me because I've got a whole bunch of slightly bigger 1S batteries which wouldn't necessarily work if I you know, put two of them on and, and use them in series for 2S because they'd be a bit heavy. So I thought, oh that's, that's a good little solution for me. But I was reviewing just recently the LDARK GT7 which was a straight 2S um, micro and I thought, oh what if this is too powerful for the house? What can I do to tame this? As it was, um, it was not powerful enough really and, and, and flew fine indoors so I didn't have to think about it. But I used the sort of thoughts I had and I decided to go back and put this on the Mobula. And you can see I'm flying this 2S in my house and I'm not having any sort of problems. And so you might be wondering, well, how did you get the power under control? Which is what I want to talk about. This came from a conversation I was having with a friend, Rob, actually. We were talking about uh, quads in general, and one of the things that came up was the use of a throttle limit. We were actually talking about where you have a big 5-inch quad, and sometimes you get the situation where you get to about 80%, and after that, once you hit the throttle a bit more, you don't get anything. You get more noise and more amps being used, but the, the quad just can't generate any more speed. So he was talking about using this to make sure he's got the full range of the throttle as it actually works. And I thought, well, this is an excellent way of potentially using the Mobile 7. And as you can see, it turns out to be quite flyable. So I figured if you guys were having problems, you know, finding jumpers to use a 1S, or you like flying it in 2S, but you find the power just a little bit too much, then here's something that can help you. So here's what I did to the quad in Betaflight. Okay, so here we are in beta flight, so let's connect in. Um, there's not much to uh, change here, and it's pretty much done through the CLI, apart from one little bit. So what I wanted to do is make sure that we didn't have to go back into beta flight to set things back again, uh, and we could do things easily. So what we can use is the rate profile. Um, by default, you'd be in profile one, rate profile one, and each profile, of which there are three, has three rate profiles. So first thing to do just to make sure you're using all the same values if we say copy rate profiles and we're going to copy our normal rate profile ones into rate profile 2 as our start position and then we're going to actually choose rate profile 2 save that okay we're now going to go into the CLI and the stuff we're interested in is called throttle limit and if you just type set throttle underscore limit you can see the two things we're talking about. Now you'll see here it says we are in rate profile one um, and it numbers this like a computer so rate profile one in the CLI is rate pro profile zero we've moved it to two and that's rate profile two so rate profile one here so don't be confused by the numbering. Um, and you see here there's a throttle limit type is off currently which is the default and its allowed values are scale and clip of which clip is a really weird thing. So first thing we're going to do is use scale. So if we just do set throttle limit type equals scale and that changes it. What scale means is that the entire throttle limit, whatever we set it to, will be it means it will scale to the entire range of the throttle. So if we were setting this to 50% then the top of the throttle would be 50% and then it would spread the range through. So the other thing we need to think about is what our throttle limit is going to be. Now on the Mobula 7 I had a quick try at uh, doing a quick line of sight and I had a look how much punch I had at 50%. I thought there's quite a lot there. So I decided to use 50% as the limit. Now obviously uh, you might find things a little bit different uh, but you can experiment with this pretty easily and you can obviously set yourself multiple rate profiles as well so you can try a couple of other ones out. So let's type this in, percent equals 50. Okay, so if we were to say set throttle limit now, 
you see that we're set to scale and we're set to 50 cent throttle limit oh yeah clip what clip does is basically after you go past your let's say we've set this 50 percent so that would mean as soon as you go past 50 percent nothing nothing happens so that 50 cent to 100 percent of your physical throttle will be the same all the way through which is a basically it just loses you resolution really weird thing to do uh, what you then want to do is save that reconnect in now at this point what we've done is we've gone and we've set ourselves on profile 2 so we've got 50 percent ready now as far as how you want to change profiles if you want to you can you just say I, I've enabled expert mode here so you could go into the adjustment tab and you could for example enable these two for let's say aux 10 and say if I'm in this range then I want to have a rate profile selection in slot 1 and then if I'm in this range uh, let's do the box 10 as well. Then I want to do a rate profile selection in aux 2. And basically, this would allow you to set a switch up and change between profiles. From my point of view, I ran out of switches, physical switches, because I'm using the X light and I've already set up uh, this many modes. On It basically hits every single switch position I have. So what I did is just simply use the OSD. So if you've got a beta flight OSD, you'll be able to go in and set your rate profile um, in, in the OSD and do it as simple as that. So this has really worked nicely for me on the Modular 7. So it's another way of doing things. And of course, you can vary the rate. So if you want something that's a little bit more than 1S, but not quite up to 2S, you can do that. And have an experiment if you've got one of these larger 5 inch quads that seems to just create more noise when between sort of 80 and 100% throttle then try uh, and do some stuff like setting your throttle limit to 80% and see if it gives you a more gradual range and you still get that top end through. Anyway I hope that's been helpful and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Well you've made it to the end of the video so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw then please consider subscribing and if you really like what you saw then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.